Hey, welcome back. Have you ever wanted to add some calculated or conditional logic to your elemental form? I'm going to show you how we can do that for free without using any premium or pro plugins like uh, Gravity Forms, Dynamic U, PRNet and stuff like that. This is totally free because we had a question from someone who said they wanted to add like a quote form within elemental forms where they're offering services. But if you pick, say, two or three different services or quantity of items, you have a discount applied. You pick more than two items, 10%, more than three items, did I say 10%? If you pick more than two items, you get 10%. If you pick more than three items, you get 20%. If you pick more than four or more than three, you get 50%. So different logic being applied here. I'm gonna show you how we can do that for free using a plugin called Forminator. <laughs> Now what I'm going to show you with Forminator is not going to completely satisfy the request I got in. They can modify it to fit their exact values, but it is the same structure, okay? And you can apply this for conditional logic where you might say uh, you pick an item and then other items become visible, for instance, or you have calculated logic. So you say if you have X number of items costing whatever, and you apply a discount, here is your final cost. But that discount only applies if you hit certain prerequisite logic. This will all make sense. Forminator is free, okay? Go to your WordPress ad plugins, Forminator. There is a premium version if you wanna have an online signature or if you want to do like recurring monthly subscriptions. We're not doing that. We're just using this to do a quote form, but you can pay by PayPal and Stripe as well. I'll show you that but that's not the focus of what we're doing here. So once you've installed it, it will become visible to you on your dashboard. Click on to dashboard for Forminator, and it will then tell you how many forms you've created, and it allows you to manage them in terms of submissions, edit them, modify them, the styling, the lot. We're gonna create a new one, and I'm just gonna go for a contact us form, okay, just cause it's simple, and click continue. And I'm gonna call this logic form, okay? And I'm gonna click create, give it, a relevant, a decent to understand name. We have first name, email address, phone number, and message. I'm gonna click this field. Oh, I'm just gonna move myself a little, I'm just gonna shrink myself actually like that. Oh, I have shrunken. I'm gonna click the message field here, and I'm just gonna delete that. I'm gonna to go to the first name field, okay? And rather than it being a first name, I'm gonna change it to be a full name, and I'm gonna change this to be a John Doe, like that. I'm gonna to go to the settings, it is a required field, and that's it, that's all I'm doing. And when I click apply, I'm gonna pick up the email address and I'm actually gonna drop it over here, and I'm gonna drop the phone number in over as well. So I've just quickly shown you how you can go into the settings and decide is it optional or required, or you can change the label, and how you can change the layout and have one, two, as many, I mean, I wouldn't have more than three, to be honest, depending on the width, when you add this to Elementor, and that's the other key thing. This is an Elementor, but you can add it to your Elementor page, okay? Because you don't have conditional logic in Elementor. Yes, you can get other plugins, but you gotta pay for that. So I'm trying to show you a free, easy to use way of doing it in the way that I like to do that. Right, we're now gonna add in some more fields. Now, let me just tell you the logic. You could be offering services where you might have one per service. You know, so you, you might say, I want this service and this service, but I don't want this one or you might be selling items. So you might have item one, two, and three. And then you might say that if you have more than one item in your basket, you get a discount. If you have more than two, you get a bigger discount. If you have more than three, you get a bigger, bigger discount. But if you only have one item, you won't get no discount, okay? Because you just have one item. So it's kind of like an incentive there. Let's insert some fields, and we're gonna insert a number field. And I'm just gonna insert that. And I'm gonna call this field a uh, number of item one, okay? It could be a service name. It could be a surveying land. It could be building architecture. It could be whatever service you're offering, boiler, central heating fitting, okay? Whatever you wanna have, right? Number of item one, there will be no placeholder and the default value will be zero. The setting for this we are gonna leave, okay? As it's optional. Um, you may decide how many, you know, you may want to set a limit so you can't have more than 10 of that item. Okay, I'll let you decide or you leave it open and say 150. You can have as many as you want. We're not going to do anything with calculation, styling or visibility. Okay, all we've done is number of item one. 
and the default value is zero because you've not picked anything yet. And then we're going to apply that. Now, here's the really easy key bit. You go over to the cog and you duplicate. I'm gonna duplicate that one as well. So we've now got it in three times. I'm only doing this for three items. If you've got four or five, you would repeat that. So I'm gonna change this to be item two, click apply. I'm clicking on here and I'm gonna change that to item three. Pretty simple so far, right? Now what we're gonna do is insert a calculated field like this, insert calculated field. This field is gonna be called um, total items, like this. Total items, again, pretty simple. The setting for this is gonna be hidden, okay? You could show it, I'm just trying to keep the form simple. If you wanna show it, show it. I'm just gonna hide it from view. The calculation though for this, you click the little um, bunch of whatever it is, little icon over there to get your items. When you click that, the calculated fields are now visible. So number of item one plus number of item two plus number of item three. Pretty, pretty simple, okay? So all I've done is total items, it's hidden, and I've done a calculation. If you had five items, you do plus item four plus item five. We then click apply on that. Great, easy so far. We're gonna duplicate that field. I'm gonna go into it and I'm now gonna say a uh, subtotal cost. So I'm gonna say uh, total cost, in fact, we'll call it total cost, not subtotal cost. This will not be hidden. I need you to know the total cost that you've now gone and done. So if I go to my calculation, okay, in fact, sorry, can I just come back a step? If I go to number of item one over here, I'm gonna put in brackets to, uh, 10 pounds, because I'm gonna say that if you buy item one, it's 10 pounds, so I'm kind of letting you know what the cost is, okay? And I'm gonna just do it, I'm just gonna do 10 pounds for all of them. You could put in, you know, different price ranges and whatever you wanna do, okay? 10 pounds per item. Back to the total cost. This is not hidden, we wanna show it. We go to calculation, so number of item one multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, and multiplied by 10, okay? So why have I gone for 10, 10, 10, 10, 10? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, hold on, have I got a bracket there? Why have I got a bracket there? Oh, yeah, sorry. Let me just put number of item one back in, multiplied by 10, because I clicked it in the slightly wrong place. There you go. The reason why we have 10, 10, 10 is because they're all 10 pounds. If item one was 100 pounds, I would change this to be 100, because the number of items times the value of it, okay? Again, pretty, pretty simple we're going on there, okay? Um, we're not going to do anything with the styling or visibility, so label, not hidden, and we've modified the calculation. Apply, so we have total item, total cost. Now we're going to start adding in the logic. Okay, so we're going to insert a field, and I'm going to add in a calculated field again, and we're going to insert it. This is where we add in the discount. So I'm going to say discount applied for, okay, now pay attention to this, this can apply for um, more than one, no, no, for two items. This can apply for two items, something like that, okay? You might have a, a description somewhere on your page that says, look, you get different types of discounts. So discount applied for two items. So we go to the calculation, okay? Um, and we are going to say that the total um, cost, right, um, multiplied by 0.1. So we're gonna say that if you have two items, right, you have a 10% discount applied, but we're taking the total cost, so let me do that again, right? I went over here and I picked the total cost, right? Not the individual item cost, the total cost, multiplied by 0.1. If you're doing a 20% discount, you would do 0.2. So 0.1 is a 10% discount. If you're gonna do, say, a 5%, you do 0.05, okay? Basic mathematics there, okay? Now, here's the bit you gotta watch out for. You gotta to go to visibility. This rule will only come into view when the logic is met. And this is the key bit for conditional or calculated logic. I'm gonna add a rule. So my rule is, and if I scroll down here, so you add rule and it adds first name is null, which is weird. I'm gonna scroll down and say, if the total items, right? Remember, total items, hidden field. If total to items is two, this field will now apply. Does this make sense? Okay, 
So this rule will not apply. You have to be two. So if you are one, there's no discount applied. If you are two, this is applied. So we're now going to click up. Let's just double check calculation, labels. Yeah, we are going to apply that. That will then apply and become visible. Let me now go in and duplicate this field. And we are now going to say, well, what happens if you have three items? So let's go in and we will say uh, settings, not settings, sorry, calculations. If you have more than, well, if you have three items, you will now get a 20% discount. So just change it to 0.2. We go to visibility and I'm going to change this to say that if your total items is free, you get a 20% discount. This is a ridiculous discount we're offering here, but I'm just showing you how it works, okay? I'm now going to make a duplicate of that. And I'm going to go in and say discount applied for four plus items. So if you have four or more, you get a discount applied. The calculation now will be a big, massive 50% discount. We go to visibility and we say if total items is greater than three. So if you are higher than three, you will now get a big discount. So the logic is basically nothing happens if you have one, you have two, 10%, you have three, 20%, you have four or more, so greater than three, you have 50% applied. Let me just hit publish to make sure we don't lose anything there. Always good to hit publish every now and again. Okay, now what we're gonna do is add in the new cost. So we're gonna add in now a calculated field. This might feel like there's loads and loads of stuff we're doing here. If you work it out, your logic, you can easily do this. Insert field. This field we are going to call final cost. Okay, so the final cost will be a calculation, and we are going to say total cost minus, and I'm now going to pick up all of these discount fields. Bear in mind, okay, that not all of these discount fields will work because some of them will be zero because they, were, they did not activate. Remember this, they only activate if you've met the condition. So total cost is one, one of the annoying things about Forminator is that it's put calculation two. So make sure you do this step by step. Calculation two was the total cost. Calculation five is this one here. Okay, so calculation one, calculation two, calculation three, calculation four, calculation five. Work through it methodically or just delete it and just do it step by step. We are now going to apply, just make sure the visible, yeah, settings, it's all that, yeah. We're now gonna apply that. That is the final cost. I'm now gonna add in another field. I'm gonna, you could even, you know, if you want, you could add in a message field now, because maybe they don't need to pay. Maybe they get their quote, and then you might have like a request quote or a message box. So you could have like a text area and rename it as message or request quote, and then you get the email. Or you could go to PayPal. This is free. Just PayPal and Stripe. Now this won't work until I've gone through PayPal. I just want to show you though, if I click here, it will then say, okay, now connect to PayPal. And then this is where you go through the steps to get your PayPal uh, API keys or your clients and secret key. And by the way, it does tell you what to do. So it will, you know, once you get through the PayPal, it'll tell you how, what you need to do to go and get hold of that. I'm not here to show you that, all right? That's not the basis of what we're doing. Oh no, don't tell me I lost my form, there you go. So I'm gonna leave this as it is because I'm gonna leave it in, but I just wanted to show you that you could either have a quote form or they could actually buy right now and then you'll get an email with the details telling you, you might wanna add an address field as well then because like if you're gonna post something, you, you need to know where it goes. Let's just hit update on that. Now let's preview this form, right? So can you see the form? We have name, email, phone number, Item one, item two, item three. You will have named them accordingly and we have the prices. Total cost, final cost. Let me go in and put in one of item one. The total cost is 10 pound. The final cost is also 10 pound. Let me now add in two. Total cost is 20. A 10% discount has been applied. Final cost is now 18. In fact, let me just show you this. Let me make all of these be one. So now, the total cost is £30, and we are going to apply a 20% discount, which is equal to £6. Final cost is now 24 This is brilliant, right? Let me now make, let me now change this one to be 7 right? So now we're going to have nine items. Well, the cost is £90, but the 50% discount now kicks in. £45. 
final cost, well, that's the discount applied. Final cost is £45. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty easy and simple to do. Um, you know, um, you know, you can state your currency and things like that. And then you got send message, or you could have a text box message area for further details for your quote, or even a pay now button once you've enabled it with PayPal. So this is dead, dead cool and dead simple. But I do just want to show you a few extra things. If I go to the final cost field here, um, I could have added in a prefix to all the calculated fields. I just want to make that clear to you and the format and apply. I didn't do it, but you can do that. So if you wanted to apply um, whatever prefix you want, your rows or however you want to do it. The same with the PayPal. When you go here, it says, do you want them to pay a fixed amount? Well, no, I don't want that. I want them to pay a variable amount. The variable amount is going to be the final cost field. I can't hit apply because it's not integrated into a PayPal at the moment. But that is what you would do. That's if you wanted them to pay as of now kind of thing, right? But that is how you create calculated discount, whatever logic you want to do using Forminator. Now, when you do go, uh, sorry, let me just update this. Do, 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 do. When you go to appearance, you can start to mess around with how it looks. Okay. You can, um, you know, let's just go for this. Let's just go for that format. And I'm now going to do some custom colors and you can start to define how it looks. Okay. When you do that, always hit update and preview. So you can, so it opens the window so you can see how it looks. You can do all of that. Um, when you get to email notification, you're going to put in the email address. It could go to one, pe one person or multiple emails. This is all free and you just go through the steps. It is so simple and easy to use. Now, here's the really cool thing about it. When you go to Forminator, okay, and you go to Logic Form and I click here, I can copy the short code. So I can copy the short code for that form. So once you've picked up the short code, you just go into your page, you know, where you drop in the short code widget and drop it in and you'll now have this form after you've stylized it visible within your Elemental website. So I love to keep everything working with, El I like to do stuff with Elemental. This is not pure Elemental, but you can still add it to your page and it is free with your conditional logic. Okay, look, like I said, look, I got one of these, you're paying full price. I put a hundred in, you're now paying a thousand pounds because they're a 10 pound each, but you get a 50% discount applied. Okay, and it's showing you the discount. So it's only going to show you the relevant discount uh, so it all makes sense and fits in. And this is totally free. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and, you know, play around with it. You know, if you want to experiment with conditional calculated logic for free. Take care, everyone. I'll see you soon.